KSA Radio, where you are family. You're tuned into the Steam Room, proudly brought to you by the South African National Department of Health's Pillar Project. I'm Musim Imam Saheb, and tonight we're asking the question, what is MSM? We spoke to some people to find out what they thought. MSM is men having sex with another man. Why do you think uh, men have sex with men? Oh, I think it's basically related to our sexuality, the interest of how I feel like I for one, I'm an MSM. So it's engaging with another man according to your sexuality, how you feel. How popular do you think MSM is? Currently, it's getting there. The biggest problems MSM face? Discrimination. The community not having a clear understanding about MSM. Do you have sex with other men? Yes, I do. Um, how often do you do that? Frequently, most of the time, all the time. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what MSM means? Yes, man sex with men. What do you think of men who have sex with men? Well, I'm a man that have sex with men, so I don't think I should be discriminating. I think they are naturally normal with me. That's what I think, because I think I'm normal. Yo. How popular do you think MSM is? Well, um, according to my knowledge as a black guy in South Africa, um, it's not that popular, but wherever we go and we get that opportunity to do it, I think the people are so curious to do it, so that's how popular it is. So I would say in a scale of 1% to 100%, it's about 25%. What do you think are the biggest problems that MSM faces? Oh my word. Um, I would think that more than 50% of South Africa do a SMN, eh? Mm-hmm. But because of what they people think or they are familiar, okay, uncles or whatever you call them, relatives, things about them, they think, oh, I will not actually acknowledge that I'm into this. So, yeah, that's how it's affected. Do you know what MSM means? Of course. I mean, MSM is basically just your men who have sex with men. Beautiful. What do you think of men who have sex with men? I think there are men that are very much in touch with their sexual pleasure because then for me, I just have this mindset of uh, your stereotypical kind of men that feel that being hetero or being mainly just identifying as a gay man or just being completely hetero and not understanding what uh, the fine line is when it comes to human sexuality actually is. So I think they're actually quite interesting people. How popular do you think MSM is? It actually is extremely popular. Um, It's just that a lot of people haven't actually gotten to grasp exactly what it means to be MSM. A lot of people think that men who have sex with men are gay, but not all men that have sex with men are gay. I mean, there are hetero identifying men. I mean, for example, if you... Hetero identifying MSMs. Yes. I mean, uh, if you were to simply say that every man that has sex with uh, any man for whatever purpose is gay, therefore you are deeming the entire prison which is full of male uh, prisoners uh, that they're all gay because then they it's it's mainly for pleasure and people just need to understand that sex is just sex it's who you sleep with or how you sleep, what you do in bed does not determine your sexual orientation cool. That's a very interesting one. And um, lastly, what do you think are the biggest problems and challenges that MSMs face? I think the one thing is labeling. That is that. That for me is the biggest thing. It's labeling, um, the fact that uh, the moment a man sleeps with a man, they, I mean, they even have all these titles for them. They'll call them the after nines and so forth. On the and down low. The, on the down low, such situations, and they do not understand the fact that, um, in actual fact, these people can be heterosexual. It's just that the man in which they prefer to engage in sexual activity is that which is perceived as being gay and which is wrong in so many ways. And it's unfortunate that without all this knowledge, most of us then just tend to label a lot. Um, But what do you say to people who say MSMs are just closeted gays who want to use a different, um, who want to fall under a different WhatsApp group? Do you know what I've realized having engaged with the LGBTI community on so many occasions the one thing i've realized is even us as the lgbti community do not have any knowledge actually we do have knowledge but not enough knowledge to be able to understand human sexuality on its own you get a gay man who doesn't even understand what it means to be gay and a lesbian woman when you tell them that you can actually sleep with a man 
you can actually engage in sexual activities with a man and that doesn't make you any less of a lesbian and it's still a taboo situation you speak to a trans woman and you actually tell them that as a trans woman you can date another trans woman and you'd be uh, perceived as lesbian because you're two women in a relationship or perceived as homo and it's still a bit of a shock and this for me is an alarming situation whereby you realize even the community itself doesn't have sufficient knowledge around this in a moment we'll find out exactly what it means to be msm when johan meyer an expert in the field talks to us about it 